Okay, so here's how I learned to set up a self-grading Google form. Um, you, of course, go to File and, uh, well, not on here, but in your Google Documents, you go to File and New Form and create the whole quiz the way that you normally would create the quiz. And then what you do is go in and take the quiz as the teacher so that you have the correct answers in your spreadsheet. Um, and then you come in after that and add columns afterwards that have the answers to your questions in them. So for example, how many non-presidents are on USA dollars? There are two. Uh, it would be like what Ben Franklin and um, let's see the guy's name, Sam and Chase. So <coughs> correct answers too, so I just have that as a heading. The correct answer to this one is on a rock. Uh, and then the student average, whatever at the end of however many questions you have, if you had 10 questions, this would go on a lot longer, obviously. And then at the end of it, you put student average, because that's what we're going to put in those columns. Um, none of this stuff you see here will be there at that time. So after all of your students respond and put in their answers, and you have this spreadsheet compiled with all of their names and their um, scores, or their correct answers, that is, then you come in and put in a formula so that it will score it for you. And the formula that you put is this one, where you come in and on the very first student, so the column right underneath the teacher's row, uh, in that first spot where their answers should appear, in that first extra column that you just put in, uh, the formula that you need to put in is equals if, and then put parentheses, uh, D3. So if the answer is D3, which Oops. No, I mean if D3, that would be this one, if this answer here is equal to D2, then it's 100%, and if not, it's zero. That's what this formula is saying, but this formula right up here at the top. So equals if parentheses, and then the column, uh, the particular cell where the student's answer appeared, equals and then the dollar sign tells the computer to, or tells the spreadsheet rather, to uh, when I copy this formula down to the other columns, it will tell the spreadsheet to continue to use that D2 as the uh, correct answer. And then the commas are um, telling it that if it is matching that D2, then it is 100%, and if not, it's zero. So then you just drag, drag the column down to copy that formula into the other cells as well that would mark that same um, that would be that same answer column so you just fill that whole column with the same formula and then repeat that same process with each one of the correct answers in your extra columns you made so by doing it that way um, each formula would only differ in that you put if the students cell, say like for example this one they answered on a rock so that is cell E3 so in this case the formula will say if E3 and there it is, if E3 is equal to E2 which is what I put uh, the teacher's answer column or cell E2 then it's 100 and if not it's 0 and then again drag that all the way down as soon as the formula is put in and you hit enter and you drag it to um, copy the formula to all the other cells it will instantly grade and put in the answer or uh, the percent for that particular question in the cell and then you just put in a normal old um, average formula in the first cell up here telling it to average the columns those extra columns that you created so in this case I only had two questions so I'm only averaging F and G uh, so that formula right there is average F and G uh, F3 and G3 and then drag that on down and it will tally an average in that last column for all of your questions that you put what previously. And that is it.